Hey guys, it's me Stormy and it's time to talk about this brilliant full moon we'll be having December 12th at 19 degrees of Gemini energy. So this is kind of a chatty, informational full moon. There will definitely be some discussion going on. Now this full moon is the opportunity that tells us we need to end something, we need to acknowledge something, we need to make an adjustment. There's some finality that needs to come around this moon. Not only that, this is our last moon moon activity that we're going to have before the December 26th solar eclipse. But to end 2019, this is the moon phase that's saying, yeah, let's bring some things to an end. we got to make some adjustments to some things, maybe even put some creative solution on things, but we need to take some actions. Now, at this particular full moon, I want you to pay attention. If you have placements between about 16 to 20 three degrees of Gemini energy, Sagittarian energy, or any of the other mutable energies, which are Gemini, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces. If you've got placements between about 16 degrees and 23, you're probably gonna feel the impact of this moon a little bit more, okay? If you are new or continuing to study or just trying to understand the aspects of what's going on, when we have a full moon, the actual aspect, the very first aspect that we have that is present is that the sun and the moon are opposite each other. So we have the opposition here. Right? So this is the aspect that we see happening at a full moon. And because there's an opposition, we're moving in opposite directions. We're pulling in two different directions. My needs versus my wants, my home versus my family, my internal versus my external, right? So this is the aspect that we're going to have going on. My Gemini energy, which needs all of the details, is going against my Sagittarian energy that just wants to figure out the big picture, right? So it's definitely an energy where we're going to see Wherever these fall in your chart, you're going to have to have some conversation, but you've probably been feeling like you've been going in two different directions for a little bit of time. Now, the next big event we've got going on as we look at this chart is that we can see we've got this triple conjunction up here, Saturn, Pluto, and Venus, all in the energy of Capricorn. Now, this is potent power up there, right? Especially all in the energy of Capricorn, which brings in the elements for us of authority, of government, of work in our lives, of structures in our lives, but also having Venus in this mix of the Saturn and Pluto business that's going on, Venus brings in these elements of just romance and relationships and also things that have to do with money. Now this particular moon actually sits quincunx to what's going on with those energies, which the quincunx aspect, what this can bring up for this particular moon are these ideas of things being challenging. Things are challenging, I'm indecisive, I'm not sure which way to go, I'm not sure which, which decision I should be making. Um, I, I'm thinking this, I've got all of these details and I think I should be taking it this way or I need to have a conversation with you about this, but in the big picture I'm trying to get over here. So this can bring a little bit of tension, a little bit of indecisiveness. Um, to the table. So keep that in mind as you're experiencing this moon. If you do, you're here at the last moon of the year, if you're feeling a little bit indecisive, or if it shows you that you've been neglecting something in the area of structure or money or relationships in your life, just allow the energies to guide you. It doesn't mean that you get all of the answers right now. What this moon will do is bring things to your attention so that down the road in this next two weeks, you can end them or adjust them as is needed. Now, at this moon, we've got more aspects happening. It's not just one. We've got more aspects happening for sure. We see that this particular full moon is also square to Neptune, okay? Now, we've also got this energy where Mars is trine to Neptune. Now, when we have Mars trine Neptune, this is action meets creativity, right? This is creative ideas. This is a visionary. This is an intuitive set of information. So in the space of I don't intellectually maybe know what to do here, or I don't feel... Um, intellectually sound on what my way forward is, you really get the opportunity to trust your gut. You feel like this is going this way and this is going the other way and this moon helps to illuminate where you can kind of trust your gut on something here. Now having this square that is formed here is also telling you that your emotions are involved. What needs to change? A square is a 911 energy and it says, hey, I need your attention. So in it, 
What are you feeling like your intuition is absolutely telling you is off or is out of alignment? And it could be something coming across this quincunx, having these energies come across this quincunx, you guys. It could be something having to do with your relationship structure or your finance structure. Because see, in this triple conjunction up here, Venus is up here with the big boys. So she's not free flying. She's not just giving love and doing whatever she wants. So Venus may be feeling a little bit stuck. So if you are feeling stuck in this area of structure or wherever your Capricorn energies are at, Venus is probably going to tell you I'm stuck I need help come save me from the palace right and this is where you get to use these intuitive creative ideas to come to her rescue it's absolutely brilliant okay as well you'll have nice energies from the sun and Venus as well so you see you've got helpers around a little bit of this indecisive energy so in this particular moon that we're going to have, remember the energy of Gemini, which is very much so about communication. And if you can see that right here, this forms a bit of a T-square. So the aspects are going to need to play out and show up by you trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, trust what is being shown to you, right? There's no point in pretending like you don't hear that still small voice trying to talk, Gemini, information to you and help you to get some resolution on what may be trapped in your area of structure. I don't think that this is the most easy moon, but I don't think that it's terrible either. It can be uncomfortable when we get some some of these quincunx aspects in here. It can be uncomfortable when we get Venus wedged in with these big boy energies because it's a very sobering kind of moon that happens here. But what I think ultimately happens is that any tension that arises at this full moon in the two weeks that follow are leading up to an ultimate release for you to have as we travel through 2020. Remember, the nodes are going to change into the Gemini Sagittarian axis. We're going to have Venus start a retrograde in May in this Gemini Gemini axis. So these will start to light up where the work needs to be and where the adjustments can come. And this may be a first really big 2019 sneak peek indicator of some changes that you'll continue to work on or the pattern that needs to be seen as we get ready to move towards 2020. So whatever comes up for you at this moon, I'm going to tell you, trust your intuition, trust your gut that the reset that is trying to happen here may not make sense at first intellectually, but there is spiritual information that is living down here and just waiting for your action. I heard this brilliant person say that Science cannot always prove spirit. The intellect cannot always prove spirit, but spirit can always prove what's been living in the intellect. So I think this is definitely that moon where we see these Gemini energies lighting up the uh, balance between the intellect and the intuition. So what's your intuition telling you at this moon, question mark? I can't wait to hear what you have to say to that. Let me know what's manifesting for you, what's coming up on your Gemini Sagittarian table. Let me know that in the comment section down below. And uh, let me know what happens in the next couple weeks after this moon happens and what it's carrying you to as we get ready to close out 2019. And I can also tell you too, Think back to what was happening at the last moon. These moons are always connected to each other, right? So if you're going to look back and see what you were maybe working on or what came to your attention, look back to the last moons that we have. Look back to the moon that happened November 26th. Was it the 26th? November 26th. What was happening, stirring, and occurring for you at that particular moon? Because you may see patterns and resonance of it coming back up for your attention at this time. All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to walking with you through whatever happens with this moon and everything moving forward. I love you guys. Bye.